welcome back to the channel. Tonight I'm making myself dinner and nobody else because everyone else is out this evening. So I'm making myself a quick ninja foodie chicken stir fry. Really, really easy. I'm gonna do my noodles separate because they're just so quick anyway. And this is just a real easy way to, to make a stir fry, but still using your Ninja Foodie. So let me show you how you do it. You're gonna create a really nice sauce because that is the key thing with a stir fry for me. If the sauce is good, then I'm gonna love it. Just prepped chicken. So I've got chicken breast there that I'm using. This is gonna be really quick and easy to cook. The dressing, as I said, I'm only making this for me, so I'm not gonna need a massive quantity here but let's start with the honey that i'm using i've just got some squeezy honey and around two tablespoons slightly under for me and then the same amount of soy sauce i use a gluten-free one tamari any soy sauce is good so a couple of tablespoons of that now I want a little bit of brown sugar in here, but we don't want a lot. There you go, let's add that in. I'm going to add in some garlic granules. You can use fresh garlic if you prefer. And also some ground ginger as well. And I don't need very much ground ginger. Sort of half a teaspoon. And then around a teaspoon of corn flour. And now I want to put in some ketchup. And that will be a teaspoon. It's quite a sweet sauce, this one. There's so many different ways that you can make it. Often I use sesame oil, I use mirin. Um, there's no right or wrong, really. Let's have a good sniff of this. Hmm. That does smell pretty good, actually. I think I'm happy with that, actually. I think that's quite a nice little stir fry sauce just for me. Perfect. And then the other thing I'm using tonight is a bag of stir fry vegetables out of the freezer. I have to be honest, these have been in my freezer for ages because I hardly use it. I prefer to use fresh. But in this kind of recipe where we're going to air fry it, I thought these might work quite well. Into my air fryer basket, I'm just going to add a little bit of spray oil there into the bottom just to help it to not stick. And then I'm going to put my chicken in. Obviously, you can double up, triple up, make as much of this as you can fit in the basket when you're making it at home for yourself. So that's my chicken. And then I've got my frozen stir fry veg, which I'm going to put on top. And then we're going to get this straight onto air fry. Now I'm going to keep a really close eye on this because I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't think that chicken's going to take very long. And the veg, really, we're just defrosting it. We want it to still have a little bit of a crunch, which is why I've used the frozen in this. So I'm going to stick with 200. And I'm literally going to go five minutes, I think. And we'll keep a close eye. So the chicken and vegetables have had five minutes and the veggies have defrosted. The chicken is starting to go white on the outside, but nowhere near cooked. I've put it on for another five and I'm going to check again. This has had 10 minutes now and I'm happy where we're at. We've got some crunch and some crisp on those veggies. The chicken is just cooked. That is perfect. I'm going to remove the basket. And as you can see, we've got a few bits that have fallen through, absolutely fine. Let's turn it on to sear and saute. And then we can warm up our sauce in the bottom here. This recipe would probably make more sense if you were cooking it for a bigger amount of people, really. I mean, that looks like such a tiny amount of sauce in there, doesn't it? But equally, it shows you that it can still work if you're just making it for one like I am tonight. So I'm just going to heat this through, then I'll add the vegetables back in and serve that with my noodles. So here we are. So all I did was toss the chicken and vegetables through that sauce once it was warmed. And I've got a lovely stir fry here with my noodles on the bottom. A few little chopped nuts as well. That looks absolutely delicious and perfect for one portion.